Hokey dokey. Last type of these, you know, Excel problems. Let's go ahead and jump into it. As always, it'll be the same method, except in this case, they've given us a few harder, you know, things to type in. But they tell us here, which is an important note to use when we're typing in something like the eighth root of t, we will use the inside t raised to the one eighth. So, for example, here we'll use x to the one fifth, and then here we'll use all of this raised to the one third to represent the cube root. So, let's not waste any time. We know the drill. We do t values first, x values in the second column, t is starting at 0, and then the step size is 0.25, so we'll hit equals a 2 plus 0 0.25, and we're going all the way to 6, so we click on this and drag it all the way down to 6, almost there, and we're there. All right. So now, we have the initial x value given, or do it? Yeah, there it is. It's 115. So now, in B2, we type in our Euler's method. So we hit equals. And we click on the previous x value plus x prime. So here's the majority of the problem. Typing in x prime 1.846. When I hit times, when I hit parentheses, you want to type in x. But in place of x, we're always typing B2. So it's x that's being raised to the 1 fifth to represent the fifth root of x. Does that make sense? We put b2 in parentheses to represent the x in parentheses, and then raised it to the 1 fifth to represent the fifth root. All right, so we're just a partial uh, part of the way done here. So now we need the inside of all of this cube root in parentheses. So 1 minus x, which is b2, divided by 231 close that parentheses, raise that parentheses to another set of parentheses with a one third on the inside. So we have the entire inside of the cube root raised to the cube root or raised to the one third. And now when we close this off, that is the end of the entire x prime. All right, so now we need to still multiply by the step size of 0.25. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. I haven't been putting the asterisk there. Yep. So no error. That's fun. All right. Sorry, just sorting that out mentally. So we click and drag this all the way down to 6. And again, we will click on 0, click and drag down to highlight all the values there. And we will insert a scatter with the little dots. And we're looking for something like this. So again, looking at the y values will be your biggest help, starting at around 115, going up until less than 140. So this is in the 200s can't be that. B goes past 200, can't be that. Um, this one starts, you know, like 142. It's not what we're looking for. This one starts around 114-ish, and that's what we're looking for. It goes up to almost 140. That kind of matches it the closest. And we can see even E has higher values than 140, which we could not have. So D is our best answer based on that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next example. You know what to do. Let's start with setting up the t and x values. We have t values starting at 0 and going up by the step size is delta t, so 0.25. And we can click and drag this all the way until t equals 4. Our starting x value is 298. And we will plug in pretty much the entire Euler's method into this cell here. So Euler's method is the previous x value plus x prime, which will be 2.385 times x raised to the 1 fifth to represent the fifth root. And then we multiply this by, in parentheses, 1 minus x, which is b2, divided by 337, all raised to the 1 fifth as well, because it's also the fifth root. And then we close off the entire x prime, and then we multiply by the step size of 0 0.25. And we want to make sure we have the asterisk so it doesn't tell us an error. All right, so we have this. We click and drag this down. And we 
highlight all these, insert a scatter plot, and we have y value starting around maybe 298 up until just past 315. So this one is a negative slope, can't be A. Of course, B is our answer, so starting below just 300 and just past 315. This one has two high of x values, and then this one's decreasing, and then this one's x values or you know y values are way too high as well. And so just based on the y values and the behavior, the positive slope versus the negative slope, we see that B is our correct answer.